Welcome back. As you can see, my hair is a mess. When you have hair as long as mine, it takes forever to dry, but that's not important right now. What is important right now is we have a new Sea of Thieves adventure. We're going to attempt to jump right back into that because I would like to do it before I get spoiled by it because every single content creator I follow for Sea of Thieves has pretty much done it already and they have their videos on it up. So I want to get mine out of the way before I sit and start watching all of theirs. Brief little bit of catch up. I don't know how long this is going to take to do. Who knows? Maybe it'll be the Rick and Morty adventure, 20 minutes, in and out, 20 minute adventure, who knows? If that is the case, we'll switch games and we'll do something else for the remainder of my time. I have about eight hours of free time right now, so. Hopefully that means we can move on to other things. I don't remember what the last thing we did in Genshin Impact is. We could always resume that. But for the most part, let's get into the game. All right. What's on the horizon hey, today? I need your help with something. Yes, Lorena. Adventure calls. Madame Olivia is looking for pirates to help her with a problem. But she wants to keep things private. She represents the Order of Souls at Plunder Outpost. If you can pay her a visit without drawing attention, I'm sure she'll be grateful. What island am I on? Ah, I love this game where stuff loads in properly. You sail away. Bare minimum supplies. Just enough to get me off of the island, or out of any situation. God, I need phrasing on that. <laughs> the Rogue's Legacy. So, for those who haven't seen the trailer for this, something bad has happened to Tasha, and I'm betting it's Briggsy related. Or it's Sanctuary. So I want to check out Golden Sands as well. Because I'm told that they've probably updated it a little bit more. Plunder Outpost, here we go. So we'll start by going a little southwest. And we'll head out from there. Easy peasy lemon squeeze. Uh, 
Hopefully we don't run out of things to talk about, because as is normal with Sea of Thieves, there is going to be a lot of sailing and a whole lot of nothing happening. Okay. Madame Olivia needs your help. Go and speak with her at Plunder Outpost and hurry. It is most urgent. Lorena. That's a shipwreck. Also, the loading times are getting more horrendous for the Season 8 update, so I guess I can bitch and complain about that. Uh, and, um... For those who did remember last stream, which will not be getting uploaded on any of my other channels, we had a game where... We spent about two to three hours being chased by a sloop that had their hourglass on, and they did not receive a battle in that entire three-hour period. While they stood and harassed us for three hours, almost. We made it not easy for them to seek us. But I still think it's funny that no matter how good of a player you are, the second you sink, everyone says you're a bad player. It's like, if I was a bad player, you would have sunk me in 20 seconds. If I was a bad player, I wouldn't have been able to sail away from you after you anchored us twice. I have been playing this game for more hours than I can... Well, than I, I can actually count, but I am not willing to. It's It would take hours to count that number of hours. Luckily, we were not alone for that little venture where we had to deal with other, another crew for a long period of time. We didn't get any money out of it. Look at this town! Look at how it's coming along. Nice. Got a big wall here. This is probably going to be like the place to where you're probably going to want to port. And there'll be the docks, as normal. The wall looks like it'll come along this way. It's filled up with stone now. Last time it was empty. This looks like a support strut of some kind. There's probably going to be an outer duct. The wall looks like it'll continue over through here. Maybe some parapets of cannons. I need help. <laughs> This is a paved upper raised road. Uh huh. This 
going to be a lot more roads and bridges now, aren't there? Oh, this place is going to look beautiful when it's done. Another paved, raised road. Ooh, a water tower. Maybe even a water pump. And another entrance, no doubt. This is going to be some kind of tower here. Oh, no, not a tower. Amazing. And it looks like to be like the end of construction for now. I can't quite wait to see what they do with it, though. Time to head southeast. Probably want to head south to get around this big island ahead of us, though, first. Wanderer's Refuge, if I remember correctly. Oh, to be on sea. We're still quite a ways away, because we got to get past Wanderer's Refuge. And Plunder Valley should be the next big island that's visible once we get past it. Wanderer's Refuge. We've sailed a nautical mile. I just got the update for it, but it doesn't show up here. I feel like the book is not currently correctly lo logging everything. I think it's one of the coolest features from the Captaincy update. I just wish it worked correctly. 
I really like the captaincy update. It has a lot of cool stuff that could have been done better, and that seems to be my opinion of Season 8 as well. A lot of great ideas, a lot of execution that is just short of where it needs to be. I heard that Choo Choo Charles finally released as well. It's a game with a train in it, so that might be something we play on a future stream as well. The only thing discouraging me from playing it is the fact that I'm told that it's kind of something that I could probably 100% in about 3 to 4 hours. Which makes it okay for a stream, but it makes it so that I might beat the game and not want to go back to it. Up to speed. Let's get out, Robert. Oh, I think I see Flunder Outpost. on those skeletons. They're barely even rendered in, and they're able to hit me. Looks like I gotta sail around another island. Well, we passed Plunder... Plunder Valley, which means we should be right on course. It should be dead in front of us. Oh, it's this thing in the fog right here, then. Alright. That's just a rock over there. like we go to talk to for quite a few quests in this game. Do do we go to her for the legendary road quest? I don't remember. I mean, I could probably check the map. Yeah, the Cursed Rogue. We, we do start the Cursed Rogue here.
Waves are getting kind of choppy. And the wind has shifted direction to the point where we're almost sailing directly into it. On the bright side, I think my hair's drying because of how long this is taking. I wonder what the odds of me running into another crew are on this uh, tall tale slash adventure. Fast. I foresaw your journey to this place. Your destiny lies elsewhere. Ah, another guest. I wish that I could welcome you under more auspicious circumstances. As you can see, I already have company, for Tasha has confided in me her most vexing problem. It's all right. You must show them the truth. I don't know how it happened, but it's getting worse. An insidious skeleton curse. Even in death, Captain Briggs's recklessness endangers others. Those foolhardy adventures she bequeathed you. Briggsy wouldn't. She was always kind to me. She wanted to help me be a pirate. And yet she too succumbed to the same curse before ever finding the cure she sought. Still. Her quest gives us hope. Do you have the book? Years ago, Briggsy left me a treasure hunt. Lots of trinkets and knickknacks to find. It's all in here. Briggsy's memories may hold the key to curing Tasha, but her skull has been drained of its knowledge. Using her belongings, however, I may yet be able to glean some insight. Tasha is in no condition to make the journey. You must complete this treasure hunt on her behalf. But knowing Brixie, this will be no simple game. I urge you to be cautious and wish you luck. Go to a place, get the thing, come bring it back. I'm pretty sure it's what's going on here. Tasha's Enchanted Compass. Checklist. For us to save Tasha, we must first complete the lessons Briggsy left for her. Defeat each of her teacher skeletons to receive their keys. Bring the first lesson. Second lesson. Third lesson. Artifact, Madam Livia. Lessons in Becoming an Adventurer by Captain Briggsy. My dear Tasha, we well done for getting this far. I can see that one day you will be a fine adventurer. My lessons to be have become a bit harder now. To get you ready to fight the baddies, I've left you three teacher skellies. Beat them all and you'll get three keys. Keep an eye out, though, because they also drop extra clues. Stick them in this book and work them out. They'll lead you to buried treasure. After such a tough task, I hope you'll like the gifts you inside even more. Your friend, Captain Briggsy. Briggsy is so kind. I love the compass. It's so pretty. This is my compass. It will point to, to where you can find the teacher skeletons I left you. I need these keys? Okay, then. They're guarding keys that look like this. They unlock chests that I've hidden with gifts for them in them for you. Lesson one, dig into history. Part of being a great adventurer is knowing about the past. When you know your history, it might lead you to clues that have been present. 
This lesson will show you how. Tree. Dig. Rock. Dig. Bell. Dig. Barrels. Grass. Dig. Riggsy left a few pages all blank and bare. Is this where her extra clues goes? Yeah, I gotta be. Stick it in here, then I can get the treasure. Yay, but do I really need to fight skellies? Sounds a bit scary. Don't know if I can do that. Riggsy went to Golden Shores or something. When she'll be back, I'll call for her help. Alright. We will leave it at lesson one for now, because I think we have to follow this compass. Hitting that button by accident. Whatever it wants me to find, it looks like it's moving. Northeast it is. North by northeast. Keep an eye on where you are and what's going on. Be inspired by what's around you. Always think like a pirate, like me. Do that and you'll see what I mean, and you'll learn your fun, skelly lesson. I think Briggsy's clue goes here for lesson two. Really need it. Because I don't know what the those palm trees is. Lesson 3, look for landmarks. Pirates need to remember where they left their treasure. X doesn't always mark the spot. Sometimes they use things that stand out to help them, like trees or rocks, or even kraken skeletons. Well, that's Kraken's fall. Lesson 3 looks really hard, and another scary skelly. Briggsy put nine of her masks on this map. Where do I go? Let's get that extra clue. Lesson one is dig, so it looks like we're digging up one, two, three, four things, and that's going to give us two clues somehow. Probably key chest, key chest, if I had to guess. What island is directly in front of us? Order of the Damned? Still nobody to turn in loot at Steven's Spoils, it looks like. I miss Merrick. 
I'm told that Merrick has been moved into the Guardians of Fortune. So, uh, you can now turn in fish at any outpost if you have 100 in your fucking Guardians of Fortune rank. God, it's like they don't want you to hit rank 50 with the fucking, uh, Hunter's Call. I think Crooked Masts is the island it wants me to go to, because that's the only island off the top of my head that I think has all four of these locations on it. There's the Painting of the Storm, there's the Bell on the Hook, there's the Flag with the Barrels, and I don't remember there being a tree like that on Crooked Masts, but there might be. All of these islands are probably going to be islands in the southern wilds or around Kraken's Fall. Oh my goodness, there's wind now. water from the rain. Okay, I should be able to see crooked masts from here. Galleon. Let's reduce my visibility.
Zip flying at Shipwreck Bay? Turns out it's pointing at Shipwreck Bay. We're definitely gonna end up encountering that Galleon crew. I hope that it was crooked masts because I'm pretty sure there's all four of these landmarks on crooked masts. I know there's a bell that stands alone somewhere, right? There's a tree shaped like that. Noose. Could have sworn there was a bell. Oh, wait, that is it. Right over there. I'm dumb. I'm blind. have a humble gift now. So if this isn't the island, it is really random that I got an item at that exact specific location.
Let's see if they raided my supplies while I was here. Not that I had much to begin with. Doesn't look like they raided anything. Okay, so that was a humble gift there. This is that tree, right? It's another humble gift. This is starting to seem like the right place. Gifts give doubloons if I turn them in, right? Alright, so that's two locations that I've digged and gotten an item first try. So this has got to be the place, right? Flag in barrels. No, that's noose in barrels. And rock with storm stuff on it. That's a snake. That's annoying. Is there food to eat? Good, there's food on this island. Cloud paintings, barrels, and flag. Barrels and flag! I'm frozen. Help! Game froze! Was that lag? I'm gonna, I'm gonna lump that up to the game lagging. Lesson. I thought it would be like fight a skeleton here and then he's gonna drop something like clues.
Okay, now we just gotta find a painting of storm clouds. Ah, no, there it is. Any of storm clouds. I, so I guess the chest was just right to be wherever the last one was. Keys required to unlock. Chest of history. It'd be really weird if the loot items that I got on the other dig spots were just meant to be random and I got the same exact item every time. This is a quest item, so I'll put this in here. That's lesson one done. Lesson two. Be inspired. Keep an eye on where you are and what's going on. Be inspired what's around you. Always think like a pirate, like me. Do that and you'll see what I mean. And you'll learn for f your fun, scally lesson. I think it's Briggsy's clue... Okay, I think it's still pointing at Shipwreck Bay.
Is that my daily deed? Repair ship. Explore a shipwreck. Darn. Could have gotten that shipwreck at the start of the game. I am smart. S M R T. So I'm looking for this tree next to a rock. And it's one of those bendy trees. This is a big island, so this could be in quite a number of places. Let's just uh, orbit the center rock and see if any trees jet out of it and stand out. Not on this rock. Let's try the other one. Oh. I forgot we were looking for skeletons. I forgot we were looking for skeletons. I'm dumb. Thank <laughs> you. 
getting some loot. Just not the loot I was expecting or hoping for. Well, so much for this being a 20-minute adventure, in and out. Does this key open the chest? First, there are nine Krakens, but you dig near each one, you waste time. You need more. Second, only one of the monsters is skewered, like a figurehead, so it's nearby. Third, the final step, you need to turn due south and walk a bit towards the... What? Nine Kraken heads, but you need to dig near the... You'll waste time. Only one of the monsters is skewered like a figurehead, so it's nearby. I never dug near here. Skeletons were over here. This is difficult.
haven't checked up on the main rock yet. fucking cannon up there? Jeez, that gave me a heart attack. That tree looks like the tree we dug under on the other island. Strange. Was the skeleton supposed to spawn on Crook's Hollow, and it just didn't? Actually. For lesson one. Uncover the clue page for lesson two. So 
So we found the third page first somehow. So there's a chest of inspiration on this island somewhere that I haven't found. Place I haven't looked yet. Brethren lore books.
I'm supposed to do all the fucking compass shit first? Motherfuckers. Ah, uh, so annoying. Okay. So according to the magical internet, I'm supposed to ignore the book until I've completed the whole kill three skeletons thing. Okay, back on track. So we have the key of location, the chest of history. Looks like we have to go roughly this way. Spring Keep. Alright. Or are we going to that uncharted island right there? I'm near canine. I am. I am near the uncharted island on canine. Does it want me to go to the uncharted island on canine? I think it does. I'm 
unless it wants me to go to Hidden Spring Keep. Those of you who have never been to this Uncharted Island, it's on K9, uh, and some people call it K9 Island or Dog Island because it's on K9. You get it? could also be pointing a hidden spring keep. It's gonna be annoying if this is where I'm supposed to be going, because it's not on the map, so I- No, there's the music. Yeah, this is the right place. That's another one down. Key of Inspiration. Got two keys and a chest. be about less loot than I have spent on supplies for repairs and such. Alright. East by northeast. What is east by northeast from here? That's Daggertooth. Could also be Sunken Grove. So we'll sit, make a course for that. This is the, ch the course we're charting now. God, we're gonna have to go to back to plunder after this. I think we're going to Sunken Grove, because it looks like it's not pointing in the direction 
looks like it's pointing just barely past Plunder Outpost. And also, it is an outpost. I don't expect there to be a skeleton there. Most of the time. At least there's a friendly galleon on this server, provided it didn't just get sunk by an unfriendly galleon. So, the odds of me running into hostile players are very low today. There we go, now we can see in here. There's the outpost. It is definitely not pointing at it. Could be pointing at Plunder Valley. Could also be pointing at something past it. So what's past? Sunk is right Plunder Valley. Sunk go. Plunderer's Plight. Trader's Fate. Blackwater Enclave. Please be Sunken Grove. I don't want to have to get to the fucking edge of the map. Dead on for Sunken Grove. Uh, this compass sucks. take my phone here and I paint a line straight. Yeah, it can only be Sunken Grove. Unless it's the shores of gold. But I doubt that for some reason. the storm rolls in as soon as we get within range. Run once around the island as we look for any signs of skeleton.
skeletons on the shore, it seems. Ooh, is that skeletons right there? Please let this be the island. Yes! No! It's a regular skeleton. Oh, never mind, they're here. to chase me. I don't want it to walk through these loot items all the way back. This is the smartest thing I've ever done. Why go get loot when you can bring the loot to you? of history. How close we're to sinking just from rain. Okay, before we open this chest, we've gotten all of the clues. Dig into history. Let's read them all in order now. Dig into history. Part of being a great adventurer is knowing what about the past when you know your history. It might lead you to clues in the present. This lesson will show you how. Dig here, 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 here. Crooked Mass is a good place for learning about history. So many old ships. Some places haven't been changed since ancient times. Others have been disturbed by pirates who came after. If it's real tre treasures you're after, you can... Sp if it's a real treasure you're after, see if you spot the oldest place. The treasure was actually underneath the... The chest was actually underneath uh, 
the painting one. So it looks like the clues are just to make it so you don't waste time. So if you have the clue, it tells you where you dig and what island to go to. All right, so lesson of history solved. A humble gift again, and a sapphire mermaid. No. Oh, there's not. There's like tablet, stone tablet in there too. Defeated all the skeleton teachers. We have the first lesson artifact. Now we just gotta get the next two. Inspiration and location. Lesson one done! Lesson two, be inspired. Keep an eye on where you are and what's going on. Be inspired by what's around you. Always think like a pirate, like me. Do that and you'll see what I mean. And you'll learn your fun skelly lesson. I was playing dice at Galleon's Grave. I rolled a seven. Three patterns of dots on the dice. A one at the top, a five in the middle, and another one at the bottom. They reminded me of the islands nearby, so I set sail to Kraken's Fall. On the way, I buried your next treasure right in the center of the five. So, Galleon's Grave to Kraken's Fall. There's a five island, like dice, and Tri Rock Isle is the one in the south, in the center of those. So let's go to Tri Rock Isle, southeast. And we're going to Kraken's Fall for the last one, so. At least that puts us in the right area. We're not heading directly back into a storm. The fact that they positioned the book at the top made me think we were supposed to do the book first and then get the keys. Because normally you get chests, then keys. Look at all this junk of them. God, I love this book. going to do something, but I don't remember. That's right, I was going to look at the rowboat inventory. Ooh, that's nice food. More food. More planks.
High Rock Isle should be within visual range. There it is. I love the smaller islands. It's so much more easy to navigate. Should position ourselves to sail the Kraken's fall after. the tree in front of the rocks okay maybe there's another spot that looks exactly like it Someone was here. This is extra loot that I wasn't expecting to get. That's a done deal there. Be inspired.
pretty sure this is the island. There's only one place where a tree juts out of a rock. You gotta be kidding me. This doesn't look anything like the picture. Chest of Inspiration. Breaks these dice. Humble gift. Getting all these humble gifts. If you need doubloons, this mission is going to give you about 20 of them so far. Lesson two, completed. Look for landmarks, lesson three. Pirates need to remember where they left their treasure. X doesn't always mark the spot, Tasha. Sometimes they use things that stand out to help them, like trees or rocks or even kraken skeletons. First, there are nine krakens, but if you dig near each one, you waste time. You need more. Second, only one of the monsters is skewered, like a figurehead, so it's nearby. Third, the final step, you need to turn due south and walk a bit to hold the treasure in two palms. Turn south and walk a bit. So look for a Kraken Skull, skewered like a figurehead. So I think that's the one that's uh, near the, the west, or the, the west shore, if I remember correctly. Or it's the one on the east shore, because there's like two shipwrecks on this island. Yep, I can see it from here. You can tell how long I've met, played this game by the fact that I remember that there's a fucking shipwreck on the fucking west shore of this island that I spend so much time on.
So I think that's this skull here. And then there's a mask over here by this rock. Unless it wants me to walk directly due south. I mean, there's a rock here. shoved between a tree and a rock. Got it. Now we gotta head back to Blunder Outpost. Location. Evil Eye. Jeez, look at all these humble gifts. Get out of Dodge. I think Blunder Outpost is just due west of here, right? much further away, in fact. So we want to be going west by... or just west by southwest. Oh, looks like we have full wind, though. Okay, we gotta pass Crook's Hollow. Should be on the other side. That's Crook's Hollow there. Oh, 
Well, it looks like we managed to do this without incident so far. But now that I'm opening my mouth about it, something is bound to happen. We have a decent amount of treasure, so a Kraken or Skeleton Galleon spawn on us is not unlikely. Megalodon you can kind of run away from pretty easily. I kind of wish the Megalodon was more threatening. Or just had its aggro turned up a bit. Of course, I put the controller down and the wind changes direction. Forcing me to play. Still a ways to go. If I set Plunder Outpost at the center of the map, we're still not on that map yet. Let's see if I can play a song. And if we get within map range before the song ends. Well, one song put us a lot closer indeed. But we lost our wind speed. Although it doesn't look like I can do much about that, to be honest. If only this was a 20 minute adventure, in and out. That 20 minutes has turned into two hours very quickly.
turn in all this loot. The humble gifts go to the reaper's hideout now? I could have sworn these were... Fucking, uh... I could have sworn you got doubloons for these. By taking them to the bilge rats. I only bought about 7,000 gold worth of supplies to not even net that much gold. If I could have turned these in for fucking doubloons, I would have considered that worth it. If you can make it to me or this this exact island there'll be a bunch of these sitting here for you on plunder outpost I could just bury it and put it on the bounty board. History.
Care to seek our wisdom? I could sell her those for ancient coins? Screw that! These were actually worth a decent amount. I think these might actually make me net positive. Because I ain't going to no Reapers hideout. Screw the Reapers. I'm upset that I even have fucking rep reputation with them. Your journey to this place. Your destiny lies elsewhere. It is hard to say if all you have brought me will prove sufficient. What you are about to witness is by no means an exact art. It's not an exact the science either. These pages harbor no more secrets, so I believe it is time to begin. Briggsy skull. The ritual is complete, but it will take time for order to emerge from the chaos of recollection. For now, we have done all that we can, and I am truly grateful for your aid. That makes two of us. Maybe I won't end up a bag of bones after all. <laughs> but what am I supposed to do now? You have the hardest task of all, Tasha. You must be patient, and trust that Briggsy will be kind to you one last time. I'll rest for a while, then head back to Matavin. Maybe mopping up spilled grog will keep my mind off things. For Tasha's sake, I would request that you speak to no one of what you witnessed here. Once Briggsy's memories are revealed, for good or ill, I shall call upon you again. Alright. 5k? And that recoups my investment fully. We got a compass. And if Tasha's here, I wonder who the tavern keeper at Ancient Spire is, and if you're even able to do the legendary... Or, like, uh, the, the tall tale associated with her. Well, that's it for this. And it did last less than four hours, like I thought it would. Which means we'll probably end here and resume a different game. We will be right back.